All right, so now for this one, I'm going to rewrite this a little differently. I'm going to say y is equal to 4 plus sine of 10x raised to the 1 half. Okay? Um, so now we just take the derivative of this. So y prime, or I could say dy dx. I could write it I like y prime better. Though, that's kind of bad. Yeah, please do not do dy dx. Yeah, you got to get used to dy dx. So now what do I do with this one half? Toss it to the front. Since when was there a half? Because instead of doing the square root, oh. put it to the one half. Pay You're welcome. And then the stuff on the inside stays the same. And then we, if you subtract 1, which is 2 over 2, then this becomes negative 1 half. Now, what's the last step when we do the chain rule? Because this, this is a chain rule problem. Wait, why do you have to why do you subtract, why do you subtract a 1 if you're just trying to get rid of the square root? Because that's the, that's power, the power rule. rule. So this is chain rule and oh, wait, power oh, rule. Oh, I missed. I, I skipped a step. Never mind. Okay. So so when we when we apply the power rule here, we subtract one, which is the same as two over two. Yeah. And so one half minus two over two becomes negative one half. Okay. Can you put on the derivative? Yes. Okay. Now we need to take the derivative of the stuff on the inside. What's the derivative of 4? 4. Oh, zero. zero. What's the derivative of sine of 10 of x? Cosine. Cosine. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. It's cosine uh, of 10x. But you have to use the chain rule to okay. that. So we've got to tack on negative the derivative. Because the derivative of this... It's going to be this times the derivative of this. Oh, my God. Wait, why did we go back to negative sign? Oh, you yeah. Huh? <laughs> oh, no, we all are. <laughs> so I'm going to pause. Do you guys see that? Yes. 95% of the time, people will forget that. Because they'll think, oh, I did the chain rule. But remember, when you take the derivative of sine of 10x, the derivative of sine of 10x is cosine 10x times 10. Wait, why? Woo. Because, because of the, the chain rule. What's the derivative of sine of 10x? Plus, Plus, 10x. 10x Plus the derivative of the 10x. Right? Which is 10. 10. And then Which is 10. Why don't you tack on the negative sign? Cause well, because you, you, could, you, yeah, that's another bad habit is that you, you feel like you want to keep taking the derivative, so you got to know when to stop. What is the derivative? So I'm gonna let me let me make some room here and I'll show you on the top here, okay? Here's what we're doing. We're taking the derivative of the stuff on the inside. And so basically we have to take the derivative of sine of 10x. So what is the derivative of sine of 10x? Cosine of 10x. Cosine of 10x, but then you have to tack on the derivative of this, which is just 10. Okay. Now, do we need to do any more? No. No. So, Mr. Adams said, all right, I got to take the derivative of this, which is cosine of 10x times 10. Times 10. Got it. And then we simplify? Yeah, and then, and then we clean it up a little bit. So now, dy dx, you have the 1 half times 10 gives me 5. five. Then that's going to be, now wait, we're going to clean this up really nice, okay? Are you going to get rid of that negative one half? The negative one half goes on the bottom. So I've got a five on the top, and I have the negative one half comes to the bottom, so this would be the square root of four plus sine of 10x. Wait, well, okay. um, yeah, wait, what? Oh, All right. because of the night. Oh, it goes to the bottom. I can't skip a step. I'll show you guys. Oh, after distributing? No, I don't know. So let's, let's make a little room. I'll have to write a little smaller. Okay, you guys ready? Yes. Pay attention. dy dx. Let's clean it up. 5 times 4 plus sine of 10x 
to the one half, okay, times cosine of 10x. Now we want to get rid of all of it. This. So in order to do that, I have to write it on the bottom. And then the cosine 10x stays on top. Sure. Yeah. 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 Do you guys see that? X to the positive yes. half. To the positive one half. So when I move it to the bottom, this goes away. Right? Because I want to get rid of the negative one half, so I move it to the bottom. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'll let you guys soak that in for a second. Like a sponge. Does cosine of 10x have parentheses? No. Yeah, it does. I wrote double parentheses because it kind of goofed up, but that's okay. So, so overall, the bottom is to the power of... Yeah, so the everything in parentheses is to the power of one half, which is another way to say what? The square root of. So if I were to erase this. It should be 5 cosine of 10x all over the square root of 4 plus sine of 10x. Is that right? Yes. Letter B. B then, does everybody understand it? And that's the answer. Any questions? That's the answer. Letter B. Uh, yeah, that's yep. Answer. So which one is that? B. Letter B. Wow. Thank you, Mr. Correct. You're welcome. Thank you, 